right, while this dude's taking his chew break, uh, let's see. This speaker needs to come out of my back pocket. Being, so I was talking to uh, Olivia's mom last night, and luckily I made it through all my bad time of life. <clears throat> I was a, a dope fiend alcoholic, right? Except that I wasn't, right? I was always a binge guy. So, as in, and I kept uh, drug stuff and work stuff separate, right? I sold drugs to get party money, and then my work stuff was always separate. So I was lucky in that aspect. But really, I was a binge guy. Otherwise, with the amount of stuff I was doing and the way I was doing it, there's no way I would should be alive or... <laughs> Uh, have been successful throughout life, right? It should have really fucked up my life. But I was lucky, right? Um, that's genetics, right? Um, so anyways, as it relates to... Hey! As it relates to dog training... Ready, heel? Good. I go through times where we do... A, come on. Good boy. And sit. Right? So, good. Heel. Good. And down, good. Nope, down, break. So it's good and bad, and it, 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 it has carried over good and bad in dog training, right? So like this guy, I worked super hard with him for a few months, and then we hit some rocky roads, and then I kind of stayed down in the valley. Then I came up a little bit, we hit some rocky roads, stayed in the valley, right? And so, the problem with being Benji is, since he's been here so long, he's probably not going anywhere. I worked real hard, and then it's like, ah, oh, dude, I, I don't know what to do, right? So then uh, I kind of went down and plateaued in the valley. Then I plateaued up here. Then we came up here, and you know what I mean? So it's it's been work hard, work hard, and then the next binge was do whatever. And so I just did... Like, kind of what I'm doing now, I'm kind of at the plateau is, I'm just fulfilling them, right? I'm fulfilling and managing him. <clears throat> but the good part of it is, in training, I have I have some dogs that have been with me for a long time. And I've always had one or two dogs that has been, like, a year long, a year and a half, like, from the start. And then I have a lot that are five weeks, or then the five weeks turns to eight weeks, or it's just four weeks. So it's, it's a lot of binges, right? Where I'm just giving information, showing people what to do, um, trying to fit, trying to uh, problem solve their issues. And then there's a, there's a lot of one times. But so my, my personal binginess has transferred over really well. Now the problem is with my dogs is with my guys, I shouldn't be bingy, right? It, I should be, okay, we've got this down, now let's learn something else. The problem, the problem with me be, being bingy with my guys is I get to like a plateau, a plateau spot here. I get to a plateau spot and then we're there, right? So then it's like, ah, we'll just do the same stuff. We'll make it a little bit harder. Come on over here. Like, as a for instance, I was in one of Cruz's videos, I was talking about it. He would be good, good boy. And break. He would be good. When I initially kept him, it was like this dude is so smart and needs to work so much that I can I can learn a new trick every day or every week, right? So I can learn how to do it because I didn't I wasn't taught how to do different tricks and stuff. I was just taught basic stuff, how to teach the basic stuff. So I, when I kept crew, it was because he could put pressure on me to have to learn all this stuff. Now, the other part of that is being, I started this when I was 45, right? I think I was 45 when I started on my own. Um, so the problem is I had 30, 35 years of, <laughs> of a certain way of doing things, right? So that's hard to change. Let's see, why did I go off onto that tangent? That was a dumb tangent to go off on, making excuses. Um, oh, well, that's kind of what I always did in work, right? So I would work at a restaurant. I would get to know everything and get up as high as I could go. 
If I wasn't going anywhere higher, boom, I'm going somewhere else. So even in the work space when I was younger, man, I was somewhere for a year and a half, maybe two years um, until I started running places. Once, once I got to where I was running places, right? So that was, that was in, an, in an effort to learn more and gain more knowledge and hone my skills, right? Ready? Um, so now that I'm older, it's like old, old people do, right? Hey, you know, I was taught this. So I want to learn a little bit, but I don't. If, if I would have done this when I was younger, I'd be able to do a lot more stuff. I'd be more uh, into learning the more stuff. So, <laughs> uh, but I watch a lot of stuff. I research a lot of stuff. I listen to people on both sides of the both sides of the aisle, right? Whereas so many people these days are they're putting stuff on social media because they want everybody to look at you right it's not really about the given information it's more about uh it's more about it's more about this is what i do and i'm right like a lot of people i'm right and everybody else is wrong what'd you do with the ball oh there it is are you done dude well, we've been about 10 minutes Oh, shoot. You want one more throw? Whew. One more throw? whoop Um. So, anyway, let's see. Whew. He's got to throttle down. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. Um, so what's the point? I don't... Uh, I think that's why I don't like, I get to a, maybe a, a good enough, right? Where I can, I can show and explain stuff to people without really doing it that good with my guys. It's just kind of stupid. If I was younger, it wouldn't be that way. Hey, we gotta get the backpack. Oh, you getting the ball? Good job, good job. I thought he was gonna leave it. Every once in a while he leaves it. Anyways, uh, now I don't know where I was going. <laughs> yeah. You gotta laugh at it, right? Hey, buddy boy. Hey, yeah, buddy boys. Get yeah, my buddy boys. Hope it doesn't get caught. Hope it don't get caught up. Ugh. So anyways, being a binge person has helped out in life. It helps out training-wise because the clients are always changing. Dogs are always changing. One thing I think has kind of hurt me is I didn't get real good at one certain way of doing things before I started implementing other ways. Where, you know, like some people, they do one way and one way only, and they get really good at it, right? The problem with that is not all dogs respond to everything the same, and not all owners will do everything that you ask them. Even when owners are having problems, a lot of times they're just looking for somebody to give them a solution that fits them. And that's kind of what we should be doing, right? As long as it's what's best for the dog. Ain't that right, fool? Anyways, I kind of got lost. Hi, buddy. You ready? Go pull. Go walk. You got two more. You don't want to play more, dude. 